morning everybody my name is Courtney and welcome to the Dandelion Branding channel. We at Dandelion Branding are a digital marketing agency that works with sustainable businesses so here on this channel we do a couple different things. We give digital marketing tips, we also do some lives and we have a podcast called Environmental where we deep dive into different aspects of sustainability. So if any of that is of interest to you, then definitely subscribe to this channel. We would really appreciate it. And today I'm going to be talking about why a holistic marketing method is so important and so effective for small businesses. As a digital marketing agency, we have really honed in and created this particular method that we use for marketing, not only for ourselves, but also for all of the brands that we manage on an ongoing basis. So our marketing method is circular, and that means that it is constantly evolving. It's like a wheel that continues the momentum and helps to keep your digital marketing moving and always progressing. And because it is cyclical, it is really kind of built in that the cycle encourages progression and movement and change and forward motion because you're constantly working on and improving. So we wanted to develop a method that was simple to implement and also efficient and effective for small business owners. So what do I mean by a holistic marketing method? Well, it starts with identifying your audience's needs and wants. You're going to want to really pinpoint and narrow down who your audience is and what you want to talk about with them. And so that's sort of your strategy, your marketing strategy. And step two in this method is creation. So this is creating content, creating those pieces that are really going to hit the mark for your audience. The third piece is curating. So that's taking the content piece that you just created and using that in different ways, depending on your platforms that you're on. And you'll want to put that on every platform that you have and put it out there in all of those ways. But this phase is sort of where you can maybe make clips um, for things that might be shorter format. If your content is a blog, then maybe you can pull out some quotes and some smaller pieces and ways of making that larger content piece micro to fit for each of the different social media platforms and uh, mediums that you might be putting it out on. And then the fourth step in the method is to collect and analyze data. So this is watching what happens, watching how people are engaging, watching how your audience is interacting with the content that you're creating and seeing what works and what doesn't work. This step gets you into the habit of looking back and reflecting on what you've created and seeing what types of things your audience tends to really enjoy and what things you can maybe tweak or optimize to work a little bit better for you. There's a lot of things that could be um, could be optimized to make your content better. So, in, and then again, because it's cyclical, so now you're armed with that data, now you can make a decision about what your audience wants to see. And so you can kind of see how this cycle really sort of feeds itself. So that's the basic structure for our marketing method. The way that this actually looks in practice for every brand is going to be a little bit different, but it's been a really fascinating process to watch how effective this particular method has been for small business owners. And there are a few key reasons why this method works. And I really want to highlight those today. This method helps small business owners to ensure that you're showing up for your audience consistently because everything is based on the content that you're creating and with the intention of putting that out on all of the different platforms that you're utilizing. So it's going to keep you moving forward. It's going to keep you creating content, refining things, and continuing to create on a regular basis. And this really helps for small business owners to create a routine. 
when you become your own boss, it can be easy to sort of lose track of things that need to happen when you're running a business. And we find that this method is a really nice sort of structure in a, a time when a small business owner's uh, work life may need a little bit of structure. This method also works because it is constantly reinforcing your brand values with your audience because you're constantly coming up with content ideas that of course are matching, you know, things that they might be interested in, are interested in learning or knowing about, but it also gives you the opportunity to really make some pretty clear stances and you can really communicate your brand values over the course of creating all of this content. And, in, and as you continue to refine, it'll only become more clear really what your brand values and what your brand actually stands for. This is such an incredible method for small business owners because time is money. And this method really allows for you to more effectively use your time because you're going to be, you know, diving into a particular larger piece of content, probably a blog article, maybe a podcast, maybe a video, you're going to be doing some research, you know, you'll, you'll want that to be a well informed piece of content. But because you then can use that larger piece of content, and all that research that you've done in smaller other pieces of micro content, you're really only doing the work one time, and then you're just sort of slicing it up and divvying out the pieces of the pie, if you will. And so you're not wasting time trying to come up with out of the box content ideas because you already sort of have a theme. You have something that you're going to be talking about in your in your larger piece of content. So, okay, how can I make that effective for Instagram? How can I make that effective for TikTok? How can I make that, um, you know, how can I cut this up to put it on Facebook? Maybe like, let's pull a quote, put it on Facebook. Let's tell a story behind why I wanted to research this, put that on LinkedIn. You know, there's a million different ways that you can then utilize the work that you're doing to, to, to get the most bang for your buck. You know, and I think that that's really what so many small business owners need and want. And, you know, I think finally, my last points are that this method helps small business owners to make database decisions rather than biased personal decisions or maybe just guesswork. It takes all of the guesswork out of figuring out what types of content you're going to create. So who doesn't love that? You know, um, of course, there's going to still be some creative thinking that is necessary to come up with new concepts and new ways of, uh, you know, new things to research, new ways of looking at some of your values or new ways of communicating the things that you're working on. But your data will really arm you with the knowledge that you need to feel confident to create additional content pieces about that particular topic or dive deeper into that path or or not or hey okay that one didn't quite work maybe it came out of left field so let's try something a little bit different or maybe next time we take we want to talk about that particular topic we maybe take a different perspective so it really allows for little to no confusion in terms of what works and what doesn't work. And that sort of confidence and decision making when it comes to content marketing is really priceless. And it's something that folks often struggle with is like, I'm doing all of the things, but I don't know if it's working. And I'm a little bit in the dark and I'm kind of just doing it and doing it and I don't know. <laughs> and so we want you to really feel confident to move forward every time you are making a content piece and just to, to more effectively use your time and to really be able to narrow in your focus and not be trying to do a million different things all at once because you already have enough on your plate. <laughs> and so uh, we've really found that 
small businesses and even medium and some larger businesses as well, this method has really been effective at, at communicating and really bringing home the message about what your brand is all about. You know, if someone were to search you, um, no matter what platform they maybe chose, they would still see what you value and what content you're bringing to the table and what they can expect. And that is really so key when it comes to building an ongoing relationship with your potential customers and with your audience. So I encourage you to take a look at what a holistic marketing method could mean for you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can leave a comment here or you can send us an email info at dandelionbranding.com. You'd be able to reach myself and my business partner, Ob, and we'd be happy to answer any questions. This is something we feel really, really strongly about and we're just so proud to have been able to sort of develop this method over the course of the, the last few years that we've been in business. So. so if you really want things to continue to work in that cyclical way where it is truly holistic, truly speaking for your brand values and every piece of content really speaks to your audience and comes from the heart of your brand, this method is incredibly effective. So I encourage you to take a look and maybe consider it for your brand. So I hope that that was helpful and I will talk to you next time. Bye.